celebrities entered the house. Hi. And it all started so sweetly. I didn't recognise you without the balaclava on. <laughs> I'm constantly attracted to Geminis. You guys are fun. You better believe it. It's about to turn nasty. This is the calm before the storm. Tonight, Big Brother drops a bomb. Tonight, you will nominate face to face. Oh, oh just have very different moral codes. It's probably best if she goes home. I associate the word celeb with genuine talents. I don't actually know what she does. I feel very awkward in your presence if we're alone. That's it. This is so horrible, isn't it? And it's carnage. I've done a prostitute. You've changed. I was really shocked. You're not going to win. It's my fault. Are you serious? Sorry. <laughs> I think I have a right to talk. We're not interested in what you've got to say. What are you going to say to me right now? I totally betrayed her. Yeah. That has definitely got to be the worst Friday night that I've had in a long time. And me. Dear three, nine thirty-three a.m. It's the second morning for the celebrities in the Big Brother house. Oh, shit. Get that fucking... Oh, I thought there was somebody in there. I was waiting for that. Cheryl, we've got to have some tea. <laughs> See, now I've done it. What was that? Sneeze, pee, everything. <laughs> that happens as you get older. Nothing to look forward to. <laughs> get out. Nobody warns you about these things. No, it's true, isn't it? But it happens. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Bet Davis said old age ain't for sissies. <laughs> the celebrities are unaware that later they'll nominate face to face, but that hasn't stopped Colleen and Julian speculating. Um, we might nominate today. No. I bet we do. Which would be really awful because we've only been here two days and I'm not ready. No. Jasmine is looking forward to mixing things up. I hope they do do an eviction tonight. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm ready to get shit rocking in this house. <laughs> Jasmine. I think it's getting fucking boring now. I just, I really am being myself in this house, so if I do get kicked out for that, I couldn't have done it any other way. Yeah. You know? This is my deal. If I go, I go. If they know. don't like you, they, yeah. I'm sure they will, though. How long did you two know each other before you came here? Two shooks. Two years. Two shooks, really. I've only met two twice. years. Have I only met you twice? Yeah. No, it's been three times. I'm not shooting. Did you say two shooting. years? Yeah, why? Well, that's a long time. Two yeah, but we've, we've not like. We've only met twice. Isn't oh, it? Do you know what I mean? But we've known of each other. Yeah. Like, two years. Soap stars Julie and Cheryl are making breakfast. Do you want any cheese in your scrambled egg? No. No, no just normal no, scrambled egg. Okie dokie. God, have you been sent from heaven? No. You must have. Nah, seriously. Nah. Darling, um, you must have. Nah. Listen, I'm so pleased. Do you know, I have to say something to you? What, okay. I was really scared about you before I came in. I have You're to, I'm being really, no, I'm seriously, honestly, I was really, I, I had I was a... scared of everybody. No, 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 but I mean, what I'm saying is when I, I thought, oh my God, you know, I'm like sort of icon and I'm a bit scary oh, and is she going to be anything? And it's like horrible. And I'm so chuffed and I've had such the bestest laugh and you've made me laugh We've so much. giggling. Seriously, and even, and I'm so pleased they gave us that task. Yeah, I am. I'm I agree. I'm so pleased because... We're bonded straight away. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And I'll Did tell you we? something, uh, it's, it, I'm never ever, this, it's taught me a really big lesson not to have a kind of 
preconceived. Proper, proper preconceived idea. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Does I that agree. make sense? Yes. Because it doesn't matter what even people say, if you hear the rumours of whatever's coming in or whatever, and people go, oh, no, no. What well, did you think I was going to be like? Then? I don't know. A bit of a I thought, diva. Do you know what it is? I thought, I thought, I thought, maybe, no, no, a little bit like that. Yeah. But, I, but then I thought to myself, and I thought, oh, maybe she'll, maybe she might be like sit in the garden and and like kind of expect people to do everything. Oh, for her. No, no, no. I knew, yeah, and that's the yeah, point. Yeah. And then I thought to my, and then something logically went to me. She's a grounded, nor, well, well, she's a grounded Correct. woman. So actually, at the end of the day, she's never forgotten her roots. And why no, am I babe. thinking that? And if it, that's the. But so many have. But that's what I'm saying. So and I think many that's have. the. the well, I'm so chuffed that I've spent this time seriously because it's really oh, it's brilliant. Darling. Thank you so much. No, thank you. No, that's cool. That's good. You've been absolutely no, terrific. No, it's with some... Um, Bloody hell. It's brilliant. You're, you're clever, big brother. You're very fucking clever. Twelve thirty-four pm Oh, that is not good. Look. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, it's like a... A mouldy cock, innit? If there was a cock like that, they'd need to go to the clinic ASAP. Oh, I'd take them. <laughs> I'd have to. That is terrible, isn't it? The poor bastard. Is it going to be all right? Yeah, then just pull it out. Hey? Just that little bit there. Actually, it tastes all right. I'm not eating out if you call it a... <laughs> no, just suck it and see. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look, you he must have been a right nympho back in the day, yeah. Was I? Fuck, I'll talk, no fucking action. <laughs> Never. Daniger has come to the diary room. Um, I, I've got on with everybody in the house completely, but the only person that I don't seem to be um, connecting with is Jasmine. You know, I say, oh, morning, and, you know, she doesn't really say hello sometimes. And, you know, when you feel awkward around someone, like, when you're on your own with them in the room, I feel a bit awkward when I'm in the room with Jasmine. Like, I feel a bit, a bit, a bit scared, a bit nervous, I think. Ashley is quizzing Jasmine in the garden. Would you ever go to porn? No, never. Ever. What's the worst job you'd ever do? What, on that level? Yeah, on just sexual level. Like, she shows her tits. Playboy? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I don't have that body, but if I, listen, if I did, I'd use it, I'd work it, doing what you're doing, you know, I don't think there's any shame in that at all. But it is totally different when you're doing porn, I mean, that's just another... So Level. you do what she's doing and you think that's cool, but whatever Danica's doing is not cool? I, no, because when you're doing oh, glamour modelling, it's entirely different. But there's a massive difference between me showing my body off. Well, I can't, don't know how I'd explain it, but there's a massive difference from what I do to Babe Station. It's totally, completely different. Yeah. Because one, one is modelling and one is hustling. My, my job is to model clothes, like a T-shirt and a pair of trousers. Her job is her body, do you know what I mean? To, to model, you know, underwear and, and that type of thing. That's completely different to someone who's manipulating men directly for money, you know, who's on the computer, on the webcam, getting people to buy them things, that's gold digging. There's just a line, isn't there, you know, like, at the end of the day, no one touches her body. But it's personal, isn't it, when you're speaking to someone direct. I'm in a room with two, three people, and I have the pictures taken. I'll tell you what the difference is, she's, she's selling the idea of it, and she's selling the reality. Yeah, I'm not actually giving it. Yeah. I have nothing against what, what she does like, but it, it's nothing like... No, I know, it's like nothing you should It's a completely different job to mine, but that's not something that I could do. But whatever it is she's doing, she must be doing it good. Coming up, the situation makes his move. Oh, smell me. Yeah, you smell like fucking. And Colleen and Prince Lorenzo. Can I just say, you know when the first night we came in? Yes. And I was coming down the stairs? Yes. You're the first one I spotted.
2.23 p.m. For today's task, Big Brother has called Prince Lorenzo to the diary room. Hello, Prince Lorenzo. How are you? Hello, Big Brother. I'm good. How are you? While Big Brother keeps him busy, Colleen reveals all. Right. For today's secret task, all female housemates must flirt hard with Prince Lorenzo. Easy. Later on today, the prince will get to choose his princess and she will be spoiled rotten. Big Brother wants you to turn on your best flirting and do everything you can to impress Prince Lorenzo to encourage him to choose you as his princess. The secret task will start as soon as Prince Lorenzo returns to the house and end when he makes his choice. It will be like a fucking Ari. <laughs> I've got some lavender oil, and it's really nice when you have that rubbed on you. Oh, ooh. That's going to put me to sleep. Sorry. No, I'm, that's I'm awesome. touching Thank people you. without even asking their permission to talk to them. Like, so sorry. Like no, sorry. Take it with you. No, 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 please. Just, like, that's, seriously, that's just help your, yourself. Thank you. Can I just say, you know when the first night we came in? Yes. And I was coming down the stairs? Yes. You're the first one I spotted. Hi there. You ever lived in Italy? Nice. Yeah. I know. <laughs> we all went wow. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. <laughs> Go on, Cocker. I love it. I go back a lot. You guys. I've got something going on with Italy and I don't know what it is. I'm going to put on my sunglasses. Harvey, I'm going to have to give it my best shot now. Oh. Go on, Jim. Are you going in to put your bikini on? I don't need it. I can lend you one if you like. But I don't cute fucking ones. need it, girl. <laughs> go, Julie. Go, Julie. Go. You got it. <laughs> you are complete and utter gentleman. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. You don't really know what to do. Have you got a little bit of like a wicked mind on you? I think he's probably a gentleman on the outside and an absolute animal on the edge. I would like, try to kiss somebody. Like, I've just win, done it. To win. I've just done that. Do you want a massage? I'd be good. Uh, I've, I've never turned down a massage. She's fabulous. Oh, right. I've actually trained in it, but now I'm not talking to her. She's a professional Do you want to have a fight over it then, Cheryl? Uh, well, should well, we make sure we have a little competition? competition? All right, let's do it. All right, let's do this. It feels so good. You're lying here next to me. Oh, look at this. Not bad, huh? Break it down now. Let's give this gentleman what he wants. Come on now, girls. <laughs> See, I'm done. <laughs> With the flirting over, it's decision time for the prince, but not before he breaks a few hearts. I'm going to go with Cheryl because she can accept rejection and she's cool about it. <laughs> and Connie, I'm rejecting you. Because you don't know my name. Because I don't know your name. Connie. Colleen. <laughs> because I don't know your name and I don't know who you are. Do we have to go up there? No, no, actually I want to. <laughs> oh, exactly. Here. You guys. They're looking right. <laughs> yeah. With just Samantha and Jasmine left, who will the prince pick? I think Jasmine is an incredible person. She's here for her son and uh, has an incredible story to share with everyone, and so she definitely deserves to be there. And Sam, I think we all know why Sam's there. Sam has uh, helped every one of us since we got into the house. My princess is Sam. Yes. 5.56 p.m. Big Brother has provided the royal couple with cupcakes, which they've shared with the house. Quite Thank you, right. Princess, Sam. Sure. Princess Sam. Princess <laughs> Sam? <laughs> so you're even nice when you rule the house. 
Oh, it just shot the tape. Get it back. Oh, you out. Harvey, you just wait. I'm going to leave it on your table. No, I was leaving my table. She tried to get it on my face, but it reversed back on her. Oh. Look at the state of me. I absolutely stink of cake. <laughs> I need help. Can you give me help? I'm in a right mess. Can you just get that? A minute. Yes. My bikini top's falling down. <laughs> no, you're good. It's, oh, it's it right. stinks as well. Oh, you gotta go like... I wanna leave it like that. <laughs> Come on, give us a hug. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you were going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Share. No! Oh, it stinks of coffee. I need... Get me that towel there, though. No, I'll get some... What? Did you see what I just did? Did you see the... the... Oh, help me. And I just did my face, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, smell me. Oh. Yeah, you smell like coffee. Ah. Big Brother has called Prince Lorenzo to the diary room. Prince Lorenzo, Big Brother would like you to take Princess Samantha for a romantic stroll around the grounds. Whilst doing this, you must bestow compliments on Princess Samantha. Understood. Did I ever tell you, by the way, that how beautiful your toes are? <laughs> the brightest, you have beautiful like nails. Them? I can tell you get very, very many manicures. That is a perfect, <laughs> perfect man. <laughs> and by the way, did I ever talk to you about your sense of style? <laughs> and that smile. It's incredibly symmetric forehead. Perfect, perfect size butt. Okay. Very, very sexy. It looks like you, you work out, maybe do a little yoga. Yeah. That is a yoga butt if Good I've ever seen one. Good guess. Good guess. All the best. <laughs> and I love the way your hair smells too. It sort of glistens. <laughs> glistens in the, in the night air. It's like a moon. <laughs> it's brighter than the moon in my eyes. Stop. Stop? Stop. Okay, princess. Thank I, you. Your request. I have to abide to your request. Thank you. That was a lovely stroll. I really, I, I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Are you dizzy? A little bit. <laughs> Seven forty-one p.m. Harvey needs a break. I'm gonna have a good holiday after this. Near Christmas, probably. I feel like I'm on holiday. Just wait. Yeah, I feel really relaxed and safe and oh it's yeah, cool of course. The sun. Not for long. And then it'll be fights and <laughs> and all. You reckon? It's gonna, I can't it's, see I can't it, see, Yeah, not, you not can. I can see it, I can feel it, I know it's coming. It's the nominating in front of people that I'm scared about. In all fairness, I can't wait for it to start. Like I always say, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> the situation is talking about Danica. I've never met a girl before that that I thought was had a was pretty and, and I thought it had a cool personality but at the same time you know she has a playful personality as well and um no I've ne never met and I feel like I I don't I feel like I wouldn't get tired of her and that's my big problem with, with girls I get tired quicker I get bored and I, I just don't think I would get bored with her she's very sweet with me she's very nice she looks me in the eye, she always look giddy and sweet, but then again, if you do that for a living, <laughs> then, uh, you know, you're just as good as I am. <laughs> Have you got a fear of being played? Yes. Do you think she's playing you? Possibly. What does that feel like? Um, that's why I really haven't really pulled the trigger, because I've already kind of told her, like, you, you know, I've told some of the other housemates, yeah, I kind of like her. Um, and, um, you know, she does flare with me. I mean, she came close today, 
where it wasn't like we kissed, but we came really close like that. And I think she was like lick, like lick the icing off my face, or, or like if you come that close to somebody, I mean, almost like you're gonna kiss somebody. I, it's, it's, it was hard to fake that, but um, I guess I feel like, uh, <laughs> um, like, like she's like my kryptonite, you know, and I'm Clark Kent. <laughs> Is she gonna kill you? <laughs> she would be the death of me, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Coming up, Big Brother drops the nom bomb. Tonight, you will nominate face to face. Oh, oh my God. God. That's that's rude. Rude. That is so horrible. <laughs> and Jasmine kicks off. Fuck off. Fuck off, you prick. Who the really? fuck do you think you are? Yeah, for real. Fuck off. <laughs> 10 p.m. Daniger and the situation are bonding. Um, what do you know about me? I don't know. Just, um, I'm 24. Okay. I'm 5 for 8. When's your birthday? When do you think it is? You said you were a... What was your sign? Aries. You can so say air half. Is that March? Want. March? Yeah, March 30th. <laughs> March 30th. When's yours? 4th of July. I'm New York. King Kim Brown eyes. Mm -hmm. Are you loyal? Very loyal. Are you genuine? I'm very genuine. Well, I don't need to tell you that. Do I? I mean, you can, you'll figure out, it out yourself. There's a reason why you don't want to tell me. Oh, that's love, I No, in a nice way. Do you think I'm genuine? Yes. I'm obviously saying something about someone. Um, ben might give you an influence about what you're thinking about. What is does. your that dream? Yeah. One of my could, that, right, that top, to the <laughs> top to the <laughs> top <laughs> dreams <laughs> is to meet, like, the man pieces, of my dreams. <laughs> and I may have already met him. Two sides. So one cycle That's about it. This is Big Brother. Housemates, this week's oh, nominations good. will take place very shortly. Oh. Will all housemates gather on the sofas immediately? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a live That's nomination. Really oh, oh, my God, it's live nominations. That's going to be in front of each other. Nomination. Yeah. Each other. Oh, no. This is going to be live nominations. Whoever gets nominated, no one take it personally. That's Absolutely not. It's just a game, man. What? <laughs> Hello, housemates. Oh, God. Hello. Hello. It's nominations time. Oh, God. However, tonight, you will nominate face to face. Oh, oh my God. God. That is horrible. That is horrible. That is horrible. That is so horrible. Oh, my horrible. God. <laughs> Each housemate will nominate one celebrity. The two or more celebrities who receive the most nominations will face the public vote. Housemates. It's now time for you to nominate face to face. Oh, this is... Jasmine, can you stand up, give the name of your nomination, and explain your reason for this nomination? <laughs> okay, um, the person that I've chosen to nominate is Danica because we just have very different moral codes and values, and that's why, I guess. <laughs> Julie, can you stand up, give the name of your nomination? You can do nothing, but I don't know what to say. Just do it. Uh, the person that I'm going to nominate is Colleen. I think maybe, perhaps she's missing her family, and husband and everything. It's probably best if she goes home to them. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. <sighs> this is so horrible, isn't it? Harvey, do can you give the name of your nomination and your reason? Please. Oh, oh gosh. The person that I'm going to nominate um, is Danica. I think she's a lovely person, but when I associate the word celebrity, I deal, deal it with um, people that's got 
um, genuine talents and I don't actually know what she does. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. My, my whole body is shaking. Julian, yeah. give the name for your nomination and your reasons. Okay, I'll be quick. I'm going to nominate the situation. You said a few things, some of the things you said about women, I completely didn't understand that you like women so much, but you seem a bit disrespectful of them sometimes. <laughs> so there we have it. I like that picture though. It's a good <laughs> picture. <laughs> Colleen, please give the name for your nomination and your reasons. The person I'm going to nominate is Rian. Um, only because you're the only one so far that I haven't really sat down and spoken mm. to the most with. I think you're a lovely girl, but I just haven't got to know you as well as everyone else yet, and that's my only reason. Thank you. Prince Lorenzo. Uh, I nominated Jasmine very simply because she came here for her son, and I believe she got exactly what she wanted to. She has an incredible story about him, and I'm not sure if she's going to have fun being here, and I want her to go out and tell her story about her son. Rian. Um, the person I'm going to nominate is Martin. We haven't really spoke yet, and to me, obviously, because we haven't, you're one of the quieter housemates. So that's the only thing I can think of. Sorry. Ashley. I haven't really spoke to this person a lot and I'd like to get to know you more. It is you, Lorenzo. Um, sorry. Nope. Nothing I could no do, but I have to pick one box. So. So. I don't really like that picture, man. <laughs> 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 so, uh, no, no. Holy totally cool. Cheryl. Okay, um, it's my nomination is Rianne. And that's because I haven't, we haven't had any conversation. I don't feel that. You've asked me anything, and I've, I haven't asked you anything in fairness. So, yeah. um, and a little bit of the cleaning as well, I have to say. Sorry. That's okay. Um, Martin. <coughs> My nomination is Jasmine. We've got a lot in common, but I feel you need to go home and see your boy because I think, I think you're missing him. Samantha. So, the person I'm going to nominate is Rian. So, sorry. I just felt a little bit harshly judged by you when we talked about mm. a feature I wrote and I think if we'd have talked about it rather yeah. than you judging me beforehand, it would have I wouldn't be nominating you, so okay. Danica. Um my nomination's Jasmine. Um I think we share the same feelings and I I feel very slightly awkward in your presence if we're alone. The situation. <sighs> um, I didn't really speak to Colleen as much as some of the others, but at the same time, she is a mother, and I, I think she may miss her family. Like, do you get that? <laughs> I, nothing, I, th I mean, I would... No, it's fine. Yeah. Do I get that? <laughs> I feel like the people that are here with kids are here for even more reason. Don't get that. It's like, is that how it's going to work? When you've got kids, people are going to be like, you should go home because you'll miss your kid. I'm here for my kid. Oh, I think it's weak. The housemates facing this week's public vote are... Rian. That's it. And... Jasmine. Come here. This is the worst bit. I couldn't think of anything else. I don't care, really. Honestly, it's a game for me. Listen, I don't care at all. It's a game. It's great. Hello. 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 I was really shocked, literally. Because A, I have never once ever said to her, I'm really missing my husband and kids. Ever. I kind of knew what Jasmine meant because I thought, I've never ever said that. No, you haven't, actually. Ever. Who's You alright? Yeah, you alright? It's me and you, miss. You alright, baby? 
We're in it together. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. I expected me. I didn't and I expect that. Danica. I didn't expect that at all. At all. I put so much time and effort into. You don't want some space? I'm alright. Sure. Yeah. You alright, Jess? I expected me and Danica. No, Jess. Look at me. Look at me. Come on. I think she's more upset about the reasoning, aren't you? I'd rather go on stage. Yeah. Do this. Give me a cigarette, man. Fuck it, this is loud, man. I just think that it's the most fucked up to do it to the person with the kids that are here for them. That's the most fucked up. She's right. That's the most fucked up decision to make. So I'm not looking down, but no one, everyone's still cool. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, shit. What are you Jesus. Game's fucking started. I'm gonna go talk to her. You wanna go talk to her or not? She's out at the pool. It shows you really like who people really are inside because that particular person I felt particularly close to and I feel totally betrayed. Jasmine, can I talk Fuck to you? off. Don't talk Fuck like that. Off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off, you prick. Who the really? fuck do you think you are? Yeah, for real. Fuck off. No, I think I have a right to talk. I'm not interested in okay, what you've got well, to say anymore. Well, I'm going to say understand? what I want to say. I'm and I'm not interested in what you're going to say to me right now. I heard you were here for one reason, was for the money for your son. To make good for my son. I thought you coming here and getting paid to come here is making good for your son. In my mind, I you just you fucked me. Friend. I'm so sorry that I, I had are to nominate serious? somebody. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Oh, let's just chill out, man. Honestly, that was the last person in the house that I expected to vote for me. I of everybody, that was the I last know, person. I know. Ten forty-two p.m. Jasmine's taken refuge in the toilet with Julie. Do you want me to come to the dining room oh. with you? God. I will honestly, I will come in with you because I happen to adore you, and I think you know that. I do. Let's go in together. <laughs> Fuck them all. Stand tall, girl. Fuck them bloody all. It's not over. <laughs> Is this yours, babe? Come on. <sighs> and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have really done this show if I thought I'd get upset by people nominating me. Mm. It's like, hey, mm. it's, it's life. You like, you know, you get picked, you don't get picked. What? what? I don't know. I, I'm not here for that. I'm not here to ruin anybody's lives, though. Mingle. Right? Now I know she just looks so shocked. I was like, whoa. You know, now she thinks I, I, I totally betrayed her. Yeah, and she might, she might think differently when she calms down. She won't. That's, that's not a reaction where but someone thinks differently afterwards. Mm. Come on, sweetheart. How are you feeling, Jasmine? Well, you can imagine how she's feeling. You can see how she's feeling, Big Brother. What can Big Brother do to help? I feel so upset because... Because I've tried so hard to work on my character defaults while I'm in here, so they didn't let me down. And I just feel like, I feel like I can't win. I didn't let myself down. And you did not. In the way that people may have expected, so. Well, you did not let yourself down. Even if I go, it's not because. No. I behaved in... Don't even think that. ...in a way that was ugly. So... You are beautiful. In that respect, <laughs> I'm proud of myself, but... Good. 
and remember it that. It doesn't make it any easier. We are going to get through this. Believe me. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> so am I. I really am so grateful for you right now, honestly. Come on. I'm so grateful. But that's what friends are for. That's what mates are for. Okay. So take a couple of minutes. And if you want to come back to the diary room in two minutes, two hours, Big Brother's here all the time. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Big Brother. That is not going to be my most beautiful moment. <laughs> oh, brutal. Yeah. Has definitely got to be the worst Friday night that I've had in a long time. And me. <laughs> Did not enjoy that. And me. That was shit. Coming up, Danica tries to clear the air. I came over here to say, is everything okay? Is everything cool? That's not what you said. <laughs> you change. I think she just wants to be quiet, sweetheart. Please. But it's not all doom and gloom. It's like being on holiday, isn't it? Yes. It's like being in a villa. Yeah, it is. Eleven fifty-four p.m. Rian has come to talk to Big Brother about facing eviction. How do you feel about being up? Um. I'm a bit gutted, to be honest, but I did think that I was going to be up there. Um, I'm not going to use a sympathy vote and say because my reputation outside or anything like that, but I did, I know, and everyone says they expect it, but out of every character in here, like, there's quite a lot of big characters and I'm not really... I can't match up to some of them out there, but I've tried and I obviously haven't socialised with certain people and I'm just glad that my reasons aren't really personal. I would have been gutted if it was, like, an actual personal reason, but... I think everyone's starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable. I think people feel bad for nominating, which, it's a game, that's, that's what we have to do. But I think Jasmine's made quite a few people feel uncomfortable, like, from the way she reacted. Like, you can see in Prince's face that he's... he doesn't really know what to do with himself. I thought it was a bit intimidating and scary. Like, for Prince, he's the most charming gentleman, like, I've ever met, really. And he tried to fight his corner, but you don't fight your corner against Jasmine. You're not going to win. She, I can imagine she can be quite feisty, Jasmine. I wouldn't like to get on the wrong side of her at all. Thank God I'm not. Yet. It's like being on holiday, isn't it? Yes. I've been in a villa. Yeah, it is. Today, we wouldn't necessarily go on holiday with all these people, no, you know but, what I mean? But today, when we were sitting in the sun, it would just like being on holiday. It really is. But you know, do you know what I find the weirdest thing is that it's all driven. So that, like afterwards, it wasn't very nice when we were all sitting around talking about uh, Jasmine. But the show is driven to make us talk about what well, happens. As a natural human being, your reaction is to talk about that yeah. situation. And I think for anyone that doesn't. Yeah. They're not being themselves. No, you've got to do... Yeah, You're aware that's of the right. cameras and you go, no, it's a game, so I can't... Yeah. My natural reaction would be to go, that's a ridiculous reaction. And now if that comes across as, oh, she's a bit, being a bit of a bitch... Yeah. No, but the, that's what I'm saying, the game is driven to make you do that anyway. It you know, is. Because you want it, they want to know your reaction. Let it, then. Yeah, yeah. She said, though, that uh, I chose the easy option, but I didn't. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't another option. No, either. because with her, I think... There wasn't something I could have if made I'd up have, and said, if here's I'd the If I'd have given option. an option, I would have picked that. Mm. I would have said, I think it's really hard for you. Yeah. And I know how much you're missing your son, because that's what she's gone on. Yeah. And the fact that she's never left him. Yeah. yeah. I just added it up, and to be honest, you know, maybe I did put it in a polite way, but um, I still came to no, the same end. You because know. I thought what both of you said is... It was... still came to the same end that I nominated her, but maybe I did put it in a polite way, but it wasn't a bottle job. It was just being slightly polite about it. Mm. But if I added it all up, I think she's, she's too fragile. Yeah. It's been one hour and 34 minutes since Jasmine found out she will face the public vote. Cheers. Cheers, up your bums. <laughs> please come and join us when you feel free, please. Yeah, I please. We, we knew, though, Jasmine, please. right? 
In We Had please. Valid Reasons. Do you please. know what? For each other. Do you know what? Go, oh, please come and join us. I mean, I, I, I'm, only speak, I'm speaking for myself, not for anyone else that voted, but mm. I, I knew you were going to vote for me. That wasn't reason for me voting for you, but that was, do you know what I mean? I felt that as well, so that's the end of it, really. Yeah, but I, I yeah, I didn't, I don't, I don't have any anger at all towards you at all no, for voting I, I for me. I don't, and I, I know you would I feel very upset at had those two, but I don't I would, towards you at all. I would, me personally, if I, if I don't get on with someone, you know, and I, you know, there are, have been times where I've felt awkward around you, you know, do you know what I mean? So I'll say that at the end of the day. You know what? The Are you just why, not my kind of girl the at the reason, end of the day? No, we're not. We're, we're very different people. And to be truthful, honey, I don't really want to have this conversation right now. I don't think it's really the time to start talking no, to me no, about what you dislike about me. So if you could save that to a little bit later, that would be, that would be kind. If that's okay. I, I didn't come over here to say what I dislike about you. I came no, I over just, here to say, yeah, is just, everything okay? Is everything no, good? Just, is everything cool? That's not what you came with. That's not what you said. <laughs> you change. I think she just wants to be quiet, sweetheart. Please. Okay. Okay. Just for the minute. Just give her give her time. Anna. Charming. One thirty-seven a.m. Jazz. Jazz, yeah. you need to get some sleep, you know, babe. Please, like, just, just trust me, innit? Like, you just need to go and rest. Tomorrow's another day, wake up with a clear head. It's just a show. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It is, babe. It's not to me. It, babe, it is. I know it me. isn't, but do you know what I mean? It's not you're to me. You're taking yeah. it away. I'm not going to say that if it's a show to you. That's cool. It's not a show to me. I love Reggie Cray. He voted me out. He didn't vote you out. He put you up for a nomination where everyone had to choose someone, Jasmine. Jesus. I don't know, man. I'm then. just stunned that that prostitute lasted longer than I did. That's saying something that's like, wow. Who are you talking about? <laughs> I was just like, wow, I don't know. I'm going to get kicked out. I'm going to go make myself a wish list. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> That's obviously like the way forward. I just oh. put my wish list up. It was not my intent to hurt Jasmine. I, I think she's a a good person, and uh, I, I really was shocked at at uh, at what what transpired tonight. Uh, I nominated who I believed was the person that didn't want to be here the most. I didn't nominate the person who I believed or the person that I didn't like the most. Actually, I really like Jasmine and I want to help her. And I thought that by having her be able to go back to her son, which she told me about, was helping her. I tried to tell her my reasoning for picking her. It wasn't, again, because I want to destroy her life and uh, make sure her son doesn't get the, the future she envisions. I expect that Jasmine will be a little better tomorrow, but there's going to be no communication between us. I think that it's going to be very unstable for however long it is that we're both at this house and it's going to sort of be a, a black cloud starting from tomorrow. This week, Jasmine and Rian will face the public vote. Who steers? You decide. To save Jasmine from a landline call, 0901 616.